Britney Spears has decided she is retiring from the music business. This, according to her very longtime manager, Larry Rudolph, who has resigned. There are more resignations as well. There is chaos going on right now surrounding the conservatorship. It but, feels, uh, it, Harvey, is, it, it feels, yeah, it feels a little like uh, people jumping ship um, for various reasons, uh, but people leaving Britney's team, obviously Larry Rudolph, which is a huge thing because Harvey, he's been her manager for 20 plus years. Yes, and, yes. And uh, so him jumping ship, and then the other thing which we just broke on the website is her lawyer, Sam Ingham, uh, who's been, you know, the lawyer that, again, was, uh, you heard speaking, or we heard it anyway, when they had the hearing, um, who was there as her lawyer. So for he is now. He's been there for 13 years. We're told he is going to resign today. There are going to be other uh, resignations as well. Um, and there is something behind this, which we're going to talk about in a minute, but let's First, focus on Larry Rudolph, because I think this right. is a big deal. Because so Larry Rudolph said last night that because, that he got wind yesterday that Britney's intention is not to perform again that and not to just to retire from the music business. And he said, look, as long as she's made that decision, there's no point in my representing her and had kind words for her and said he'd always be there for her. And if she changed her mind or whatever... Um, but that was kind of stunning that, remember, the last we heard, Brittany said she's not going to perform as long as her dad is still in the conservatorship. Uh, but um, now it sounds like she's just going to retire, or at least there's something that Larry Rudolph found out. And I thought it was interesting, Harvey, that Larry Rudolph also said that he hadn't spoken to Brittany in, what, two and a half years. Two so, and a half years. Two and a half years since he's spoken to her. And the last time he did speak to her, she was saying she didn't want to perform, and now... Uh, obviously, whatever this information is that he got um, saying that she is going to retire. So I, I think for fans, the immediate question is, is this more uh, gamesmanship with Britney, where she's saying, because my father is still co-conservator of my estate, I'm not going to perform? Is this more public pressure that she's putting on him? Or is she sincerely just saying, I'm not going to perform again, no matter what? That's I'm not sure of that, but what I am told is... There are a lot of people in this conservatorship who are very upset because they say that Brittany didn't tell the truth um, about a lot of things at the last hearing. It was heartfelt, and it was certainly her point of view. Um, but we did a story over the weekend where Brittany essentially blamed Larry Rudolph and said that my management um, forced me to do this European tour back in 2018. I didn't want to do it. And we did a story that Apparently, there are multiple communications and text messages where she practically begged to do the uh, the tour because she wanted she felt she was going to be bored in 2018. So Rudolph never said anything about this, but you got to think that would weigh it, that would weigh on his mind. As for Sam Ingham, um, who is about to resign, remember Sam Ingham. Um, has been her conservator for 13 years. Brittany said until very recently, she had no idea that she even was allowed to end the conservatorship. Our sources are telling us that Sam Ingham is saying, and others uh, in the conservatorship, that's just absolutely not true, that they regularly, every year, multiple times, gave her her options, talked about it, and she never wanted to end it. She wanted so Jamie out for a while, but she never wanted to end the conservatorship. So this is a tough spot for a lawyer to be in when your client is out there giving what you said described as heartfelt testimony, but he felt as though he was being wronged out there in some way. It sounds like, you know, for your client to say you weren't advised, that's directly advised appropriately. That's a direct shot at Sam Ingham. And he was really left with no no choice here, it seems like, but but to resign from the case because you've lost your client. You've lost your client's ear. And that's the whole role of a lawyer is to advise and execute on their wishes in large part. Yeah. Our sources are telling us that that was exactly why Bessemer Trust bowed out because Brittany has been very upset with everybody in this conservatorship, including now Jody Montgomery, who is the conservator of her person, who Brittany really liked at the beginning. And if you listen, she took direct aim at her during that testimony. So what I'm told is that Bessemer just said, 
you know, they didn't, they're not saying it publicly, but they don't want to be in the line of fire there. And that's why they backed out. And that's what I'm told. Here's what's interesting to me is who do you get if you're Britney Spears now? Because an advisor's role is not to be a yes person. It's to give you candid advice. It's to give you the correct advice, not necessarily something you like. And she's sort of put this in a position where the next person to come up feels as though they can't give that difficult advice. But, uh, but it's hold a on, hard but Derek, situation. You're saying, you're saying the next person to come up. Britney said she doesn't want there to be a next person up. I mean, she made it clear she wants the conservatorship to go away. But you're, That's right. But, and she continues to put this public pressure on. Speaking of public pressure, we got to show you this. Um, uh, Miley Cyrus was performing over the weekend in Vegas, coincidentally, where Britney used to perform. And she gave Britney a shout out. Listen to the what she she was performing her song "Party in the USA." You know that there's a, a shout out to Britney already in the song. Well, she changed the shout out, and the crowd responded. Wow. So Charles, uh, I, you know, I think what we got to do is kind of wrap this right now. So ultimately, Charles, as we said earlier, this is going to be, judge. I think, be, the judge and the doctors that yep. they're going to have to decide. And hopefully the doctors are going to say, look, she's stable enough. Let her out of the conservatorship. But if they don't and if they say, look, there is a lingering problem that hasn't gone away and it's why we put her in the conservatorship in the first place for her safety, there are going to have to be changes for sure. But we will see what the judge does. I mean, public sentiment is clearly on Brittany's side. Right. Um, but ultimately, the judge has to listen to the doctors, and we'll see what happens. My name is Imani. I'm from Maryland. Brittany has been living for the world for a really long time, so I'm very happy to see her finally choose herself. Yes, yeah, she's choosing herself. I guess the question is, what we don't know yet, is whether she's making the right decision based on her medical status. And that's what we'll I mean, have to look, hear. I, I, this becomes a big circle that yeah. everybody wants her to get out if it can be safe. I mean, but and she question, obviously thinks it's safe. But the question but is, if it's not, yeah, because she thinks it is, doesn't make it OK. And right. that's the issue here. And again, we're not doctors. You're <laughs> not a doctor. None of the pre Britney people are doctors, as far as I know. And we're not doctors who've seen her anyway. It's going to be a medical decision, and hopefully they're going to say she's stabilized. And if she is, she's out. And if she's not, her view of it is not necessarily the view of reality in terms of the medical side. What we know is things have to change so she feels good about this, and she doesn't right now, right? Exactly.